I'm on a roll with myself here. Ignore me if you want to. If you convince people that uh, that they are just a mind and a body and a and a pile of emotions and things and bills and and responsibilities and timetables and and. and friendships to deal with and gossip and all of these other things that becomes the, the self as it's programmed uh, as, as it's programmed in from birth through control over the educational system through control over the entertainment models uh, through control over information uh, then you can convince them that they are not a spiritual being and don't have a spiritual uh, body As people filter up out of a lower state of consciousness, you still have other traps that are set for them that will keep them from coming to, uh, generally speaking, to a, a full realization of true self, which will break the spell uh, that, that we've all been under for, for thousands of years. But I'm still under it. I'm just trying to think clearly through it. Because I understand that I'm being intentionally programmed on a daily basis what to think, what to feel, why to think it, why to feel it, who, I, what, what trend I, I think should be cool, what music should I listen to, what shoes should I wear, what hat should I wear, what language should I use, you know, that's how you can see in high school and all that. One year, little Johnny is a textbook nerd, you see him after summer, he comes back and he's a punk rocker with his head shaved, wearing monkey boots and... And you're like, what the heck happened to little Johnny? Well, little Johnny's cousin came to town from New York, and he happened to be in the, the punk rock scene, introduced little Johnny to punk rock, and showed him how cool it was. Well, now little Johnny's a punk rocker, and now he's, you know, he's a rebel. He's no longer a nerd. You know, that kind of thing. And, and, it's, and it's all a trick, you know? So he's, he's now taken on the programming of a punk rocker and, and projected that programming into his own uh, idea of self, uh, the self-identifier, which would be ego. So ego becomes the central focus. That's the personality, the, the, the this this uh, uh, this this unreal, non-existent idea of self is projected out into the metaphysical universe and held in place on a daily basis by focusing and concentrating on who we think we are and constantly filling our minds with information that we see as pertinent to, to, uh, uh, to backing up that program. So we're not going to go to information that, that we find that deprograms us because it's terrifying. It's like, oh wait, oh my god, what is this? What is this? this doesn't make sense to me. I can't, this can't be real. And we, should, and we go away from it because the deprogramming can happen very quickly and it can be very dramatic and people can go crazy when they realize that they've been living a lie their entire lives and that the majority of everything that they've been told is complete and absolute bullshit. doesn't mean that you're not fluctuating between these two worlds. It's, it's, it's a constant fluctuation. That's the Zoroastrian idea of it. It's about being able to see through that fluctuation and base you, you know, yourself on, on, on your spiritual nature rather than the idea of self, the metaphysical nature the, 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 it becomes manifest in behaviors and attitudes ways that you communicate and deal with other people. So that's the program. So once the programming comes in and we're walking around every single day with this idea of self uh, projected into our minds which solidifies as an ego, uh, that then, then the people that, uh, that don't want to identify with that, who are just struggling in this in this gray area between, ah, yeah, you know, I'm more happy being a spiritual person and all of that, you know, but there's still that struggle between these two worlds and the, and the force of the programming that we're constantly under every single day. So, but then there are those who have embraced the program and become the ego, and they, they rely on the program for their survival. 
without the program, that you know, then 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 they they become obsolete. Uh, in fact, the programming becomes so so severe that the identification with ego, with the ego self, well, with the, with the personality becomes so solidified that any attempt to tear somebody away from it uh, is is actually met with, with physical violence. But those uh, and those generally would be the people who um, uh, who have embraced this idea of ego and prefer ego over the true self, over the spiritual self, which is which is no one, which is nobody, nowhere, no time, no thing. It's just a vibe. Become a vibe, not a not not a personality. And that vibe still experiences life. You know, it still has ups and downs. So the vibrational tone, the frequency of the vibe is going to, just like you know, a, a musical instrument is going to play based on what our contact with the physical universe dictates and how spiritual we are, we'll be able to maintain a certain higher vibrational frequency in the face of, of, of forces that want to drive that frequency back down so low that it becomes disconnected from source again and starts to project itself as personality instead of true self. real solution is the simplest. Get out of mind, disconnect from mind, reconnect with true self and source, and then reconnect with the mind as an instrument that you can use to interact with the physical universe and do the jobs you need to do and do the things you need to do and operate the machinery you need to operate and think creatively and paint pictures and do all the things that rise up the ladder of, of, of our creative nature. It, it, then the mind becomes, you know, a musical instrument rather than um, a, 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 an anchor of bondage.